This video, sponsored by, Envato Elements. Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to create this. Open After Effects and create a new composition. I am calling it Liquid Text. As always, I am using the 1920 by 1080 resolution, and a very low frame rate. Let's keep the 15 frames per second. And then hit OK. The first step is to create a new solid layer. I am calling it the background and using this purple shade of color. You are free to use any color you want. Hit OK, and let's add the text now. Go to the tools, and select the text tool. I am using the Montserrat font, which you can download from the link in the description. Let's choose this bold font. Now click anywhere on the screen, and start typing your text. For this tutorial, Instead of typing the whole word together, I am going to keep each letter on a separate layer. Eject from the typing box, and let's use the small caps, instead of the capital caps. Again click on the screen, and add your second letter. I am using the OK word. Eject from the typing box. Again grab the move tool, and align your text into the center. Select the bottom text layer as well, and align it to the center also. Let's arrange the text by using the shift plus arrow key on your keyboard. Before moving to the next step, let's take a look at today's sponsor. Design video products faster, with Envato Elements. Get unlimited download After Effects template, stock footage, fonts, music files, and web templates. Visit the Envato Elements. Check the first link in the description. Now select both text layer, and then press P to open position. Here, add a keyframe on it. Unselect both layers, then select the top one, use the Shift plus left arrow key to place this layer to the left. Now select bottom layer, and place it to the right a little, so that they both touch each other. Now go to the one second timing, and change their position, so that they should have this spacing. Do the same with this top layer as well. Again go to the two second position, and now click here to add a keyframe. It will hold the animation till one second. Then move to the third second position, then select this first keyframe, copy it, and then paste it right here. Do the same with this bottom layer as well. Now I want my animation to play only for 3 seconds, so I am going to the 3 seconds position, and pressing N, to set my comp area ending. Check the animation, and this is how it looks. Too boring. Let's change the duration to 4 seconds, so that we can see a little more. Check the animation, and this is how it looks. Now select all keyframes, right click on it, go to the keyframe assistant, and easy ease them. Open graph editor, in case your graph doesn't look like this, then right click here, and choose speed graph. Now select this first keyframe. If you required, zoom into your timeline by pressing plus key on your keyboard, and then change the curve to something like this. Do the same with this keyframe as well. Make sure to adjust your graph editor just like I am doing here. Check the animation, and this is how it looks now. This looks good to me. Let's switch back to the main timeline. Zoom out your timeline, so that we can see all keyframes together. 
Let's move to the next step. Make sure to unselect any selected layer, then go to the tools, and select the pen tool. Please note, my fill is set to none, and my stroke is set to a solid color. For the stroke, I am using this white color, and a stroke size of 44 pixels. Now go to the second keyframe position, where you can see the spaces between each letter, and then draw a straight line, between the space of these letters. Use the shift key on your keyboard to make a straight line. Let's animate it now. First, rename this layer as Drip. And then press S to open scale. Now click on this link icon, so that you can change the X and Y values individually. Now add a keyframe on it. Then go to the first keyframe position, and change the X scale value to a lower number, so that it will fit right inside the text. Now go to a few frames forward, and change the Y value to 0%. Check the animation, and this is how it looks now. Not bad. Let's delete this keyframe, because we don't need it. Again check the animation, and this is how it looks. Let's place this keyframe on half second position, and adjust the timing if need. Also, place the shape line right on our letters. If you notice, we have this outline, as well as the transform property of this shape line. We don't need to actually see it, so click here to turn off the mask visibility, and then press Ctrl, or Command plus Shift, plus H on your keyboard, to hide it. Now you can see the line clearly. Now make a duplicate of it, and then place it right here, using the shift plus down arrow key. Make one more duplicate of this shape, and place it at the bottom. Make one more last duplicate, and place it on bottom of all layers. Now press U to reveal all keyframes, go to the first keyframe position, and adjust the scale value, so that it will completely match with the edges of our letter. Again press U to reveal all keyframes, and place the all layers individually, so that they appear at different timing. Make sure these lines should visible clearly with our text. Not bad. In the beginning, I can see the shape layers are going outside of our text, so we need to trim the starting position, and match it with the first keyframe. So grab the edge of the layer, and match with the first keyframe position. In this bottom layer, I cannot actually select the edge of my layer, so instead, go to the first keyframe position, select the layer, and press Ctrl, or Command plus Shift D on your keyboard, to split this layer in two parts. Now select the bottom part, and delete it. Do the same with this bottom layer as well. Now carefully adjust the visibility of the line, so that they stays right between our text. Check the animation, and this is how it looks. Perfect. Let's move to the next step. Minimize all layers by pressing the U on your keyboard. Now, select all layers except the background layer, right click on them, and choose pre-compose. I am calling it liquid text, and then hit OK. Now go to the effects and the presets, and search for the Gaussian blur. Apply it onto the layer, and adjust a few settings. Change the blurriness value to 20, and it will make your text blurry. Again go to the effects and the presets, and this time search for the simple choker. Place it right below the Gaussian blur. Now after changing the choke matte value, the text will look different. A lower value will make the text thicker, the higher value will make the text thinner. Let's keep the value of negative 4. And this is how it looks now. Not bad. Let's change the choke mat value to 5, and it will look even better. I like this one. We have different options for achieving the same result. 
Let's see how can we do it. Again go to the effects and the presets, and search for the levels. Place it right below the simple choker, and let's turn off the simple choker. In the levels, change the channels to alpha. And adjust the slider to something like this. Check the animation, and see if you like it. Not bad. Let's add one more effect. First minimize this level go get some room, again go to the effects and the preset, and search for the roughen edges. Place it right below the levels, and without changing anything, it will make the edges more liquidy. Check the animation, and now we're done. Thank you for watching this tutorial, I will see you in the next one. Till then, good luck, and peace.